Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I hope you're having a wonderful day whether you celebrate or not. I thought we would just spend today doing something chill, chatty. We're just gonna talk about some Christmas palettes. We're gonna talk about the ones that I own in my collection and some standout ones from this year as well. I didn't wanna do anything too crazy. I thought it would be fun, fun to chat with you, maybe share some Christmas palettes that you have in your collection as well. Walk down memory lane a little bit and just just have a cozy good time. Before we hop into it, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my Instagram and TikTok by the time this video goes up. And as far as my accessories today, this necklace was a gift from my in-laws. These plugs are from Love Kills Boutique. This is an Amazon wig, it's very old. And this is a CC brand beanie. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and chat about my Christmas palettes. Now I only own six, so we're gonna talk about these six first. And then I figured I would also chat about some Christmas palette releases from this year as well, and we can kind of just give our thoughts on them. All right, let's start with the one that started it all, the Give Me Glow Christmas Morning Palette. This one still fills me with so much joy. I'm pretty sure I got this in 2018. This just takes me back. I don't know if I filmed every day that year, but I'm pretty sure I did do like a tutorial every day for a week that year, because back then like I still wasn't able to post like super frequently, um, but I was posting as much as I could. And I did like take the extra time to post like seven tutorials in a row, like a week of Christmas kind of thing. And I use this one a lot. This was also the same year that I got engaged, the same month that I got engaged. And that was just such a fun time. This is what the inside looks like. Ignore this under the tree shade. Literally when I was filming this look today, it fell out. And I don't even think I've dropped this palette. I swear Give Me Glow Shadows just have like a vendetta against me. But this is just such a good palette. I mean, look at the Gifts Galore shade, that shimmery green. Chef's Kiss. This is truly such a classic Christmas palette. I just, it fills me with all the warm, fuzzy things. I just love the metallic green and red in here paired with the silver and gold. It's just perfect, you know, very quintessential traditional Christmas. And if you want a Christmas palette that is Christmas to a T, this is a good one for that. And the packaging is just so cute, looking like a present. I love this one. That one I will always hold like near and dear to my heart and I always look forward to using again every like Christmas season. Last year birthed the Rudolph palette from ColourPop. I'm such a sucker for Rudolph. I just watched it last night. It just brings me so much joy. This is what the inside looks like. It is super, super cute. It's definitely not like as bold as the Give Me Glow one, but it's still very charming. It obviously survived the declutter series because I already finished that up by the time this video goes up. Um, but I love it. We still have kind of the combination of the red and green, not as much heavy focus on silver and gold, more so like warm neutrals and cool neutrals. And I do love these cool tone neutrals here. If I'm gonna play with neutrals, that's what I wanna go with. I like this kind of minty green as well. I think it's really pretty. The shimmers in here are quite nice and I'm happy I have this one. It's just, it's cute. It brings me those Christmas fuzzy feelings and I like this one a lot. Now this one, this one might be like skirting the line of does it count as a Christmas palette, but for me it does. <laughs> Last year also the Nightmare Before Christmas palette with ColourPop came out. Now, obviously it's Halloween, but it's also Christmas. Like I will die on the hill that Nightmare Before Christmas is both. Like everyone wants you to pick one. I can't, it's both. It is a Halloween and a Christmas movie. That is the first movie I put on when I'm decorating for both holidays. This is what the inside looks like. I always say it's like my early 2000s scene kit dream. <laughs> it's perfect. I really think this is a fun color story. It's not like overly Christmassy by any means, but I feel like you could still do really fun holiday-esque looks with this. I've already posted my winter favorites by the time this video goes up, and honestly, I maybe could have included this one because I really vibe with like berry tones and dark purples right now, and this kind of has like a mixture of that. I think it's really nice. I love the shimmers in here. The mattes are really nice as well. I think this is a fun palette. Does it capture the mood? movie completely. I don't know if I would say that, but I do love this color story on its own. And the fact that there's snowflakes and Christmassy things all over it, I just had to include it in this video. I also did once upon a time own the Hello Kitty Christmas palette that ColourPop came out with a couple years ago, I think back in 2020. And I did like it, but I didn't need to keep it long term. So I did end up giving it to a friend, but I did have that one once upon a time. It was super cutesy. I enjoyed playing with that. Moving into this year now, Nomad Cosmetics came out with the Santa's Village palette. Look how freaking cute this is. I adore it. I have eyeshadow all over my hands, by the way, from when I broke 
the eyeshadow from earlier. <laughs> it's just so precious. I love these twinkly toppery shades paired with these bold mattes. It's very much like traditional Christmas vibes, but with an ethereal twinkle. I think this is precious. I've really enjoyed playing with this one so far. Again, obviously it survived the declutter because here it is. And I think it's cute. I like the whole Santa's Village theme. They always take their theming very seriously with where they're scouting out their locations and stuff. I really like seeing them tease their locations and kind of give insight on their Instagram of like why they picked things that they picked. And I think this is absolutely precious. And I, I love this one. They also did last year do a like Christmas lights themed one. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it was like a nine pan all shimmer rainbow palette. And it was really cute. I didn't end up keeping it long term just because I didn't need like a nine pan of rainbow shimmers, but it was really pretty. And I thought it captured like the Christmas lights vibe really nicely. And the last ones that I have for this year are probably one of the best Christmas releases I've ever seen. And that's the Christmas release from Odin's Eye. They just knocked it out of the park. I mean, look at this packaging. This one's the Merry Christmas palette and it is just gorgeous. Like it looks like a Christmas card. It's so pretty. And the inside is so much fun. It's like traditional Christmas, but with like whimsical and also some grungy pops in here. I like these rich, darker jewel tone shades paired with the brighter pops of color. I think this is a really fun and unique take on a Christmas palette because it definitely still gives the Christmas vibes, but not like as in your face as the Give Me Glow one, for instance. I've loved playing with this one. Unfortunately, these two were limited edition and got discontinued. I think a lot of the palettes in this video are limited edition aside from the Give Me Glow one. They seem to bring that one back every Christmas season, but unfortunately, these ones are already gone and I wish they would bring them back because they're too good. And last is the Christmas Eve palette. Look how beautiful. Like this is incredible. A cool toned grungy winter's dream. Like this was for sure the first thing that I put in my winter favorites video this year because it's just absolutely capturing the vibes for me. It's like out of all of the palettes I'm talking about in this video, this is my favorite one. But as far as like the most Christmassy, I'd probably still give it to the Give Me Glow one. Like that one will always hold such a special place in my heart. But as far as just favorite palette in general, this one, it's too good. I'm so excited that I have this one. It's so inspiring to me. I think it's so magical and whimsical, but again, also kind of dark and grungy. And it's just such a fantastic palette. I love this Christmas Eve palette so, so much. And again, Looks like a freaking Christmas card. It is beautiful. I love how reflective it is. So those are all of the Christmas specific ones that I own. I own a few more like wintry ones per se, but I wanted to focus more on like Christmas palettes specifically for this video. But I do have some saved on my Instagram that I want to talk about that I've released this year. Let me just do a little scooch. Okay, so this first one, again, this might be like teetering on the line of is this a Christmas palette, but for me, Edward Scissorhands is a Christmas movie. <laughs> I can't explain it, but it is. And the brand Wicked Widow Beauty is coming out with the Scissorhands Part 2 palette, and it is gore just. Like, had this already come out and existed in my life by the time my winter favorites came up, this would have been included because this is so wintry and magical. These grungy jewel tones, these cool toned, wintry, dreamy shades. I'm really excited about this. The brand actually reached out and they are sending me this one and I'm so excited to try it out. I've never tried this brand before and this just looks incredible and I'm really, really excited to try this one out. A really popular one this year was the ColourPop and Muppets Holiday Palette. Weird fun fact about me, I kind of hate the Muppets. I don't know what it is. It's just not my thing. I don't think they're cute. I don't think they're funny. It's just not my thing. I know some people love the Muppets. I just really, really don't. But this palette got really, really good reviews. I feel like people were raving about this one. And I do like the colors that are in here. I think those pops of like bright blue, yellow, and green are really fun. There's that really cool like reddish orange and the bright pink. There's some fun shades in here. It wasn't really for me. They also didn't send me this one, but I didn't feel compelled to buy it either. Um, but this one did get a lot of really good reviews. So if you're interested in it and if it's still available, I've heard nothing but good things. This next one, like I love the packaging, don't so much love the insides. And I also don't shop from this brand. Um, but the brand She Glam Official, they're like the makeup brand for Shein, which I try to avoid. Um, they came out with their Enchanted Deco Dance collection. Very holiday. The packaging is beautiful on this. I think it's such an aesthetically pleasing collection. However, the insides of the palette are really not screaming to me. It's a lot of like muted browns and then like 
a dark muted red, a green, and kind of like a bluish black. Like, it's not really doing it for me. I think the packaging and the picture itself is more so the selling point for this one, but this one wasn't for me. Again, I don't shop from this brand anyways, but I figured I would still include it. We're chatting about Christmassy palettes here, and that's one that caught my eye when I was scrolling around looking for references for things. Next up, Makeup Revolution came out with a Grinch collection. I think that there's parts of this that are charming. I think this picture is actually really cute with the little ornaments, very Whoville-esque. There's like a fuzzy eyeliner. Like the eyeliner itself is just a black eyeliner, but the pen itself is like fuzzy green. And I think that's really funny. And like, it looks like one of these little palettes is like a fuzzy green packaging as well. Very Grinchy. Um, the bigger palette isn't for me. I think the shape is a little obnoxious, like something like that is just going to be super weird to store unless you lay it like flat, but it's always going to kind of like move around if you stack them like on a shelf like I do. Um, and the colors are fine. There's some cute tones in here. It is very like Whoville-esque, very bright, colorful. This isn't the worst Makeup Revolution collab I've ever seen. I will say that. I think they did a decent job, again, with the fuzzy packaging, and then there are the bright, fun colors. It's not just a bunch of neutrals or rainbow colors. I feel like they do rainbow a lot and then throw whatever pop culture thing on top of it. I think this is kind of cute. And there's the little beauty sponge that shapes like a heart. This one brings me joy to look at, but I don't need to own it, if that makes sense. This next one isn't a palette, but it is a bundle, and I thought I would include it because it's very Christmassy. Sydney Grace, I guess they've been doing like monthly bundles, which I didn't realize, but this is a bundle of six single shadows that aren't new. They already exist, but it's just like a bundle you can get. Um, it's $20 if it's still available. Um, but this is their little Christmassy bundle, and it's so cute. This is very much like capturing those traditional Christmas vibes. I haven't tried Sydney Grace yet personally, but I've heard nothing but good things, and I think this is really nice. I love that midnight green shade. That is so pretty, that dark, rich shimmer green. And then there's the brighter green, that rich shimmer red. We have that yummy hot chocolate shade. Even that taupey shimmer uh, piece, that's actually really cute as well. I think this is charming. A cute, simple, curated little Christmas bundle. And the last one that I have saved, which I guess isn't really Christmas, it's more winter, but it is really pretty and I still wanted to talk about it, so we're gonna talk about it anyway. I guess consider this the honorable mention. This is the Midwinter Dream Palette from the brand Ensley Rain Cosmetics, and this is in collaboration with Brittany Huffman. This is a stunning palette. I love the colors in here. This very much captures my personal vibe for winter right now. These rich, dark, delicious jewel tone shades with these beautiful punchy shimmers. This is a beautiful palette. I'm really into the tones of this. However, I will not be purchasing it. It is a bit out of my price range. This is $88.88. That is just not something I'm personally willing to spend the money on, especially from a brand that I've never tried before. And honestly, I haven't heard much about. Not to say people aren't talking about this brand. I don't watch every YouTuber ever, but I personally haven't really heard anything about this brand. So I personally can't justify like spending $90 on a palette, but I can appreciate it from afar. This is gorgeous. Congratulations to the brand and the collaborator because this is a stunning palette. It definitely made me stop in my tracks when I saw it, um, but I'm going to admire this one from afar. It's cute, but not meant to be for me. <laughs> and I think that about rounds it up for this one. I would love to hear your thoughts. Are there any other Christmassy palettes that you own that maybe I didn't talk about today? Obviously, I didn't talk about every Christmas palette ever. I just kind of talked about ones that I have, ones that I owned in the past, and some that have stuck out to me this year as well. Do you own any of the ones I talk about today? What are you wearing today? Did you wear any Christmas makeup today? I would love to chat down below. I don't even know what I'm gonna be wearing on the actual day of Christmas. I actually might be testing out something else that's like totally unrelated to Christmas because that's just the way the YouTube world goes. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Again, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, whether this is just another day for you, I hope you have a wonderful, safe, happy day. Treat yourself to something, whether it's self-care or something that you've been eyeing. I would love for you to just think about yourself today and give yourself something nice. Again, whether that's material or just some self-love. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave some wintry or holiday related emojis? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe. If you wanna see more of my videos, I'm continuing to post every day in December. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. You see this cute mug? Look how round he is.
Like what a freaking cutie. I feel like my blooper reels have just turned into a mug of the day segment. <laughs> Side note, I feel like Christmas threw up on me today and I love it. Like the bright sparkly nails, the red everything. I'm just, I'm happy and I will go to work looking like this today. Mark my words, I feel my best self. <laughs> 